guys once again thanks for tuning in um, this is Snoopy he's our Havanese uh, these guys are getting very popular these days um, the one thing about these Havanese great dogs but very very high maintenance as you can see so we're gonna do a quick brush out on Snoopy and uh, show you uh, how to you know just more easily maintain these guys um, once again we're always brushing prior to the bath uh, so that way we're getting all the knots out and we're, we're just kind of getting any debris that's underneath this coat so that when uh, we do bathe him uh, it can all get washed away and it'll make for a better finish um, we can work that shampoo into his coat so uh, yeah we're going to be using our slicker brush again and uh, and we're going to be using our, our greyhound comb for this so uh, as I've mentioned in past videos uh, we're just going to start at the back legs which I like to do. I like to. I always like to do it in the same fashion all the time. We're gonna go back legs, torso, front legs, and save the head for last. Uh, by doing it in the same fashion all the time, you get practice. You don't miss spots, um, and the dog gets more uh, used to what you're doing, uh, your approach. Um, some dogs will actually help you to do it. So we're doing the back left leg with our slicker brush. Come down here, this leg's not too bad. The inside of the leg here, you know, is always a tricky spot. It's a tough spot to get into. That's why the brush is, is uh, curved like that. It's actually designed to get into spots like that. You can see the, the contour of the brush gets in there. I'm just doing the hock. Area. Like, I, you, you, like I said, you can hear the sound when you hear that little pulling or that scratching sound, you know that there's some knot in it, there's a knot there, and then when it goes away, you should be able to just brush right through it with the comb. You see how the comb picks up that little tiny knot making that sound. And those little knots can easily turn into mats. Okay, so we're working our way up here. Another spot that's very difficult is this little, this little spot right in here. It's a very sensitive area, so um, I kind of want to just brush down in a way because you have a piece of skin here that you just don't want to irritate in any way. So kind of brushing away, going in two directions on that. Okay, good. Okay. So just like that, that whole leg is done. You can see how the comb just kind of goes right through. That's simple, guys. You don't want to brush one area for too long either. Uh, you, will, you will brush burn the dog's skin. Um, if you feel like you're brushing one area for too long, I'll show you on this leg here. We're just going to rotate them on the table. If you're brushing one area for too long a period of time, even if there's a knot there, jump down to another area over here so that you're not staying in one spot for too long a period of time, and then you can go back to it. And notice how what I'm doing here is that I'm separating the coat and getting in those little tiny strokes. Okay, again this area is a little sensitive. So he's got a little knot right there in that very sensitive area which is tough for the owner to get out also um, because it is a sensitive area. So we're going to go real light on that. We're going to use the corner of our slicker brush. Just kind of separate and pull away and then do it again until it comes out. You, 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 what you don't want to do is you don't want to get in there with a comb. I see a lot of people trying to get in there with the comb and just yank on the dog. That's just brutal. It, it, it will hurt the dog and if you're just trying to comb that out. Um, it's not a good thing to do. So you just want to work it out with the brush first. I'm just brushing back and then forth and I'm using the corner of the brush. And 
once you work it out with the brush, like that, you know, then then the comb will go through. You see, and there's no no harsh pulling. Like right here, you see that little snag, right? There's a little knot there. There's a snag there. So rather than try to yank on that, let's just locate that little knot. We can even separate it. We can actually see the culprit. It's this little knot right here. That if you could see that, this tiny little knot is causing that pulling. You see. So once you find it, you could just grab it with the brush and a couple of strokes. It might mean a little bit more effort on your part, but if it means less pain to the dog, why not? Right? We don't want to yank on our dog. Just like that, it came right out. And it, the, all of that is just coming out. That's just the back legs. Okay, so now we got our back legs done, now our tail is done, back legs all done. So now we're going to start working on this torso. And here we're really just going to separate the coat a lot and just pull backward with the, the, the way the hair is growing. Um, it, don't, don't brush in the wrong direction, o always brush with the growth of hair. So we're just separating the hair. Separating the hair. You see I'm creating like a little line here by separating the hair and then you, you know you're doing a thorough job and you're not missing spots. Again we're just doing it in the same fashion all the time. We don't want to jump around as if if we start here and then we start brushing up here, we're going to forget. We're going to totally forget what we did or didn't do. So right here, we're all brushed out already. We're about a third or you know, way, a quarter way rather, uh, up the torso. So this is all done already. And we're just going to keep moving along. The reason why I do it this way is I don't I don't like to go right at the face right away. Actually, I'm just going to turn them so I can show you this side um, because dogs generally they're not crazy about their faces being brushed. So I don't like to do something that I know that they're not crazy about right off the bat. Why upset them right away? We'll save it for last. Get everything else done first, and then we'll work on the face. And we have to be a little bit more careful on the face too because you know the eyes are there and the nose is there so we want to work a little slower when we get to the face. But we worked on this little hip area here um, so we got that out already and another thing I want to point out is when you're doing the torso uh, you know, you're brushing down this is always prone to get knotted because it's underneath the dog and when you know dogs are low to the ground so you can see that you know when a dog runs when Snoopy's running hit this foot is doing this and it's kicking up a lot of debris it's like it's like your car tire just kicking up a lot of debris up in here so it's important to keep that part of it um, nice and brushed out and uh, you can see you know he's got some knots there you're doing so good Snoopy <laughs> You're doing so good, buddy. Okay, so yeah, we'll continue here. Doing that. Um, now, one way to get underneath is to lift this front leg, and you want to use the corner of the brush, and from the armpit back, we're coming up like this, and we're getting underneath like that. But you want to be careful because, you know, the dog's, the dog's penises are right here. So you don't want to brush in the direction of the penis too, uh, uh, too closely. So with that, you know, you can do this for a period of time and then cut it off right around here and then lift and then come brush away from the penis. You don't want these slicker brush bristles 
uh, hitting the penis or, or in any way, or you know, you want to protect that sensitive area. Trust me, you want to protect that area. Yeah, so we're just kind of brushing away. Okay. Oh, you're doing so good, Bobo. You're doing so good. Such a boy. Okay, so. So we're almost done with this torso area. But you can see how the comb just goes right through now. And any little snags that you get, just go back to the brush. You know, go back to the brush. But you know, they they maintain Snoopy very well at home. Believe it or not, he's he's in great shape. Um, you know, in in a lot of cases with these Havanese, we have to you know we have to give them a shave down because you know they're just uh, they're very hard to maintain and they get matted very easily. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands as far as grooming and taking the time to groom or brush these guys, uh, you know, might not be the breed for you, you know, you, very, very high maintenance. Okay, good boy, I'm going to turn around again, and we're just going to continue up this torso. You're doing so good, Snoopy, you're such a good boy, look at you. Snoopy's a really young dog. He's only about, I, th I think he's about a year and a half, but uh, Snoopy is just very unique because he was just good from Jump Street. As a puppy, he was standing here, you know, like he'd done it a million times. So he's always been just such a, a joy to, to groom because he just stays so still. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this leg as I showed you on the other side. See all this, we're gonna just grab that and go that way. Okay, and then again, we're gonna stop right around there because we know that his penis is right here. And we're just gonna lift and brush that way, away from the sensitive area. And you may have to repeat it, you may have to do it again, you know. We're just separating all this hair up here. Because there's a lot of coat, a lot of undercoat. And you can see how you know, we're separating even, uh, even going this way, not just this way. You can see that line right on top of them here. And we can just pull it again this way. So you can see how long this is taking me, and you know, and I'm a professional dog groomer. I, I, I do this every day. So at home, you have to imagine this is this is going to take you even uh, longer. Uh, there's a little snag. It went through. It went through. You know, when you're brushing your dogs too, it, it creates such a bond uh, between you and your dog. This is something you have to do at home, especially if you own one of these guys. It creates such a bond because. See, like right there, you see how sensitive he got because on that little pull. So here, so again, like I was saying before, just use the brush. See, the brush is so much less pulling for the dog. Let's find that culprit again. There it is. I can see it right there. There's that culprit. That little... That little knot that doesn't want to come out. To work out on your hands, you know, holding this brush is tough. I hold it all day long. It's very tough. Good boy, Snoopy. Good boy. Always check on them too. Make sure that they're comfortable. If you see the dogs uh, are getting too antsy or too tired, give them a break. You can go back to it later. You don't have to do it all in one shot. Now, like I said, though, Snoopy's young, and he's, you know, this guy is just 
durable. You, you can you could brush him all day, and he he would accept it because he's just such a good dog. See, like right there. See that? I'm I'm, I'm pulling on just a little bit. And he's just giving me that look, like please don't, please don't. So just you know abide by it, and yeah, show him that you're not. It's okay, Snoops. We do with the brush, Bubba. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Oh boy. See, he's almost saying like thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so let's recap. We got back legs done, torsos all done. The comb is just flying through. Okay. This side too. Okay. So now we're gonna jump to the front legs. Um, Actually, we're, we're going to work up the neck a little, and then we'll do the front legs. We'll clean out our brush again, you know, get that out. And we're just going to pull the noose forward so we can get all the hair. And we're just going to do this neck area. Also, a tough spot to get to. But look, look, look at how, see, Snoopy is so used to me brushing him that look at the way he turns his head. It's almost like if you're getting a haircut and you're you know what the barber is going to do. But look look at the way he turns his head to help me out because he knows what I have to do because we do it in the same way all the time. You know, practice makes perfect. Okay, good boy, Snoopy. And we'll turn him this way. And watch, he'll do the same thing on this side. Now let's just pull the snooze forward. Good boy, Snoopy. And if they don't, because at first, when you first start, they'll, they'll tend to turn their head this way. Just, you know, just maneuver their head and just tell them how good they are. And they learn. They learn how to get brushed. His neck was in really good shape there. Okay, so momentarily, we're just going to take the noose off for a second. Um, you have to be very careful here uh, not to let the dog jump. So always keep a hand on the dog. But I'm taking it off only to get into this uh, area here because the noose is covering it so I want to get in the neck area. Okay, and You see how I'm just holding his ear flap forward. I'm not pulling his ear or anything. I'm just holding it forward this way so that I can get behind his ear. I'm not pulling on him or anything, you know. Good boy, Snoopy. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're just going to position here, we'll turn them a little this way. Come here, Snoops. Turn that way, Bobo. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll just get behind the ear. They, they prone, they're prone to getting matted behind the ear, too, so you want to definitely uh, brush back there. You know. Okay. And we're just going to lift his head. It's okay, Snoops. Good boy. Good boy, Snoopy. You're so good. You are such a good boy, Bubba. You are such a good boy. Okay, so that's done. So now we got the torso. We're working our way up. Oh, there's a little snag. You see that? So let's get that with the brush a little bit better. Let's find out where we're. This is a little. Now I'm just going to. I'm actually separating this knot a little bit with my fingers just to get the brush in there. It's okay, Bubba. Those little knots can turn into a mat overnight, you know, especially if it's a rainy day or if you try to bathe your dog even with that little knot, it'll turn it right into a mat and then you have to shave it out, you know. There it is. That was a tough one. That was a tough one, Snoop. Good boy. You see, he, he let me get it out. It's out. Let's check this side again. But well, maybe I didn't. Yeah, there's another one right in here. So let's work that out. See, I'm using the corners of the brush. I'm not going like this. I'm just using the corners of the brush and use the angulation of the brush to, to, to pull and get that little knot out. That one came out easier. And just watch what you're doing. Be careful.
can you can hear the, that little scratching sound because just the knot is just being a little little pest. It won't come out, but you know it did. All right, there we go. Go boy, Snoops. Okay. Like I said, Snoopy's very table trained. You know he's not going anywhere. He lets us do just about anything. Um, he's such a good dog. Right from Jump Street, right, Snoops. You're so good, buddy. Okay, so now we're going to put the noose back on him. So that way, uh, you know, he's not falling off the table or anything. All right, so now we're going to work on his, his little chest area here. His front legs. And then we're going to finish off by uh, his face and his ears. And like I always say, guys, prior to doing this, always inspect the dog, check for anything, check for fleas. Um, you know, by doing this and separating the, the, the coat, you, you'll, you'll, you can see if there's any fleas, if there's any bumps, if there's any ticks uh, while you're going. Just uh, be conscious of, of notice any, noticing anything, you know, um, any spots, any little, little growths. Uh, I, I do that regularly. If I see any growths or fleas, I always let the owner know. Um, now we're just doing this little front leg. He's got such cute little legs. <laughs> Good boy, Snoopy. Let's do this and turn him around so you can see better. I'm just supporting the elbow. Just brushing him out. A lot of times I get a lot of debris on the feet here. Um, he's got like some little like gum or whatever. Um, so you gotta kind of work that out. Got a little mat here. We don't want to yank that out and we can't really get it out with the slicker brush. So we're just gonna scissor it out and get it with the scissors. And we clip that out. No, this way we're not, uh, you know, uh, pulling on them or hurting them in any way. So we clip out those little knots. You won't see it anyway. So there you go. So once once that hair gets covered there, you see, you're never going to see it anyway. Same thing on this one here. If they get those little knots between the toes or anything, you just kind of clip them out with the scissors. There we go. All this little stuff here, it's not coming out. So we'll just do a little snip and get it out like that there we go and you won't see it anyway okay the front legs are done and we're just going to work on his head now okay when you're doing the head you want to be very very careful with the eyes Okay, you don't want to scratch the eye in any way with the slicker brush. So uh, we'll start with the ears and uh, do the outside flap. Okay, so we're going to do the outside flap here. And then we're just going to turn it in, get the inside like that. And while we're here, we'll grab this too. Again, we're kind of just being very, very careful with the eyes. And he's got some nodding in the ear here, so we're going to try to separate that. Try to separate that little knot there, and then we'll work through it. There we go. Good boy, Snoopy. Good boy, buddy. Okay, so now we're just combing right through that ear. And we'll turn it this way, do the same thing. Okay. His head's not too bad at all. We'll do the other ear. Same thing. Just 
turning the inside like a pancake, get the inside, and one more time on the outside. That ear's done. See all that coming out. Okay, ears are done. His ears were in really good shape there. So now we're just going to work on his face. Again, we're just being very, very careful with the eyes. Okay, and we're just going to hold one side of his face, use the corner of the brush, and just brush one side of his face like this. I'm brushing away from his eyes. Okay, not towards his eyes, but down and away. Okay, we're going to get underneath his chin here a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. He's got a little knot here, so this side's going to be a little bit more challenging. But we're just using the corner of the brush, being very careful, and work slowly around the eyes. Work very slowly around the eyes. And give him a little breather too. Let him go for a sec and just restart him so that they don't feel too restrained. Good boy, Snoopy. I'm just going to use do my right hand so I can get a better angle on it. Good boy, Snoopy. What a good boy you are, bud. You are the best. Look at you. Okay. All right, we'll just give it a little check here with the comb. Oops, sorry, Snoops. Okay, guys. So there you go. I mean, that's that's a good thorough brush out right there. Um, you know, you should you should be doing this. Uh, you know, uh, every day. If you if you own a Havanese, if you own a Bichon, you should do this every single day because uh, it uh, like we said, it's a very high maintenance dog. But you can see how the comb is just going through every part of his body now. Um, you see how happy he is, <laughs> and uh, now now he's ready for the tub. We could bathe him now because he's tub ready because he doesn't have any knots. And just give him a once over, you know, just make sure that the comb is going through like, we, like we're doing. And I got one little snag here. We'll get that out. There you go, Snoops. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So that's up. That's it, guys. Give it up for Snoopy. Okay, our Havanese. What a sweetheart he is. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys, and uh, we want to show you a lot more videos. If you have any comments or any questions, uh, please leave it down below, and uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Give it up for Snoops, guys. Mm -hmm.